I didn't think it was too useful to do a, a swing arm install video, but uh, looking in here, you know what? It does give you guys an idea of what we're dealing with and why the dirt and everything gets where it gets. So the first thing I do, like I said, is grease your swing arm or your swing arm pivot. Now this is greased, so you can see it's got a sheen to it, but um, it's greased just enough where it's not going to be attracting more dirt than it needs to. And I also grease the inside of the bosses, right? So the bores of the bolt, where the bolt passes through. So kind of goes through all the way, right? I could, you know, get it through with my hand, but the reason that you don't want to have too much grease is because I'll show you where it'll build up right now. One of the spots is right here and you'll see why that's a big deal. So let's get this back out. Let's take our swing arm, set our swing arm in here. And the reason it was a good time to shoot this video is because, you know, everything's out of the back of this bike. So we go ahead and we put the bolt in, right? Let's get this kind of lined up. There we go. So now if we got too much grease when we push this thing across, it can sneak out here and it can sneak out here, right? And let me get this in so you can get an idea of what we're talking about here. So it's going to take a little tiny bit of tapping brass hammer right that's not beating that's really hardly nothing we're getting it lined up on the other side all right when the swing arms in the bike remember our inside seal is in here well you can see that gap right there let me see if I can get you closer you can see that opening right there that's where dirt gets in and the reason the chain side wears out so bad is we got a chain picking up dirt right Forcing, forcing dirt down in here. That's that inner seal down in there, right? And you've got dirt going down in this side. You kind of see in there, right? That's why you get so much, you know, the dirt gets built up in there or we pressure wash the bike. And as we're using the nozzle to pressure wash, we force the dirt in to the seals. That's why if you've got plenty of grease inside the seals, the water can't get in, all right? So that's my little tip there. Uh, wow, it feels so much better. And it really didn't move that uh, that loose, but um, cool. That's the other little tip just to give you guys an idea, you know, of what it looks like back here when it's apart or when it's together, right? All right, stay tuned. We're going to be starting on that one soon, and uh, we'll probably do something about mounting the wheel and, and some other tips, you know. I've got some tips about bleeding uh, this rear brake because the way this little loop works right there i've noticed that you can get air back into your caliper especially um if you let your master cylinder get a little bit low then it gets a little air in it uh that's real common with my kids <laughs> i noticed when they're crashing a lot you know this thing as the bike's toppling down the track gets some air in it and then the you know then the fluid goes back on top of it well that air eventually gets sucked into the hose and then it's in the wheels and you got spongy brakes so but we'll cover that later oh man this is this is really smooth and uh, we'll go over the pivot links and stuff like that. So like I said, subscribe, like, um, and uh, let's get out there and start riding soon, guys.